I gotta tell you, my favorite content of all time was the suit man content. Yeah. Like that was the best. You watched that? Oh yeah, that was funny. bro. But like, I picture that guy on like an abandoned island, with I, like a huge beard or like in witness protection or something. I, I sit in my basement. So who was that guy? He was like high up. He was an exec at HBO. He, yeah, he was the director of HBO Sports. Wow. Yeah, you had Sophia with an F on here, right? Yeah. Didn't no, no, you? we did a. Yeah, Stani thought he could fuck her. He could. I'm, well, job's not finished, but it could happen still. You but yeah, do, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Yeah, that was a that that was a big thing. I mean, who knows? I, I've gotten so many different, like, I've, the financial stuff that I dealt with, like going after Robin Hood and GameStop, trade a lot of enemies with that. I have a lot of enemies. Scooter Braun, that was funny. Scooter Braun, I don't think he, yeah. People love that. <laughs> that I think he amazing. actually. Well, because you were the first one to really go at him, and he was so respected, right? So when you said that, it was just so well, funny. That, yeah, so that was also the call her daddy. Like, we dealt with that split up. For months, that was a disaster. You that may, maybe have that with massive... memory when he wants like more money, like. Mm -hmm. But it was a, uh, it was a ongoing ordeal with them when they split, and it was done. It was re it was we we knew what was happening, and that's when Scooter got involved. And he just called me. He's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna like want you to fix this." It's like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> I've been dealing with this. It was actually grumpy. I, but I, I love Scooter. I will say that I love Scooter. I have to say I love Scooter. You have your opinion. I've never. Me. No, I have no problem with it. Like. Right. We're, we're at Dave's spot right now, Key Club, but he called me first. He's like, I have um, – Scooter Braun wants to talk to you about this Caller Daddy thing. He's like, do you want to talk to him? He's like, I'll talk to him, but he knows how I am, right? It's like everything's on the record, and I don't care. He's like, I told him you're a terrorist, and he still wants to talk to you. So, Do you feel bad for Sooty? Suit Man, I don't know what he's up to now. He's fucking, dude, he can't do anything right now. I, are they still, I don't know if they're still together. I don't know. There's no, parts of me think that so. thinks he's involved in a lot of, I have like conspiracy theories up but the wazoo of people You want to just destroy people if they piss you off or is it like well, he, content? Well, he, what Suitman did was he tried to become, so we found Caller Daddy. Like Caller Daddy had. A, yeah, how did that come about? They had it's no episodes. Story. They had like, I knew Alice Cooper. Alice Cooper's ex-boyfriend had actually hooked up with a girl that I was hanging out with. So I knew in Noah Syndergaard. So she was dating Noah Syndergaard, Mets pitcher. So like well-known celebrity and she was the girlfriend. Nobody knew who she was, but they're in like the New York Post and whatnot. So I followed her. She posted at one point on her Instagram, just a sizzle reel of Call Her Daddy. I watched it. It was interesting, good. Called her in. I'm like, who, who made that for you? And she's like, I did. She's like, I learned how to market it. I learned how to edit it. I, I learned it all myself. And it was really like slickly produced, so it was obvious it was way more behind her than what was just you were seeing. I find that's when you know too when they can like edit and know how to market themselves. Totally, too, that's when it's like you know it takes so much work off. You're like, okay, this oh, person yeah. has something. And the like ambition to learn how to do it to get it to that point. So I was like, all right, well, we'll give you a starting salary if you want it, and and take the podcast and put it on our network. She's like, yep, there's one of the girls, Sophia, and so they came along. They each got seventy grand. It was seventy grand a year was the, each of their starting salaries. And the thing just exploded. Like, did they instantly. have any moment? Did they have anything going? Nothing. Uh, nothing going for them before that. You had a nope. fucking good deal, bro. Hundred fifty out We're of the We're not talking eight. about Menory and Dave anymore. Okay, well, well Menory was at, was significantly ahead of like where they were when they started. We still ran into that. They always they got so big so fast that that original contract got like outdated instantly almost. And we did pay them a lot more, but they started looking around. Um, and it's like anything. It's like, well, if we're on our own free agents, you go look at like, I remember they went out and did a podcast with um, Logan Paul. I think they did impulsive. Yeah. And yeah. Logan asked them, I think how much they're making. And, and they answered. And he's like, Whoa, you guys are getting screwed. And that was the beginning of, um, the contract stuff and what eventually happened was suit man who was Sophia's boyfriend decided he was going to be the manager and he had negotiated a contract I think at Wondery for them while they were under contract with us and uh they came during COVID they sat on my roof deck Alex and Sophia and they basically were getting ready to leave and we needed them so I made them like an unbelievable deal I was like you guys can take the IP I'll shorten your contract we just and give you more money. We just need you for another year. Alex wanted it. Sophia refused it, supposedly because the boyfriend's like, nope, I need to manage you, and they split. And then all hell broke loose. Who ended up manage. in a better situation? I don't follow this stuff. Who Fucking ended up in a better Well, way? Alex got a, a three-year, $60 million deal from Spotify, so I'd say she did okay. Dude, you what it, what it, what it, you Sophia really didn't nothing. know that? I don't, Pop, I don't pay on. attention to the internet, brother. I really don't. He, no, yeah, he he's not even trolling you right now. I don't pay attention to the internet, Dave. Um, that's you cost why. Sophia I go a lot back of money. And no? I have missionary Sophia costs herself a lot of money. I mean, that's me and her go back a little bit, so I don't yeah. really appreciate you doing her like that. But. <laughs> yeah, Sophia, man. 
That's meant one of the worst decisions ever made by a human. Well, well, do you guys have, contact her? Any regret better? that she, if she just took the contract? Okay. Like if she if when they walked Sweetie. out, they were just like, "Yep, we'll take it." They would have they would have owned one hundred percent of it. It would have bought. I told them like, "You'll both be multimillionaires if you can wait." 12 months. Right. And Alex is like, so yes. So what was Sophia's gain then by not She doing trusted it. Sudi. Yeah. The su- her but she bo- just said, okay, I'm just going to get nothing of Call Her Daddy? It went back and forth. They kind of, so Alex came to like, us. Like, how did Alex get it all? Alex came right. to us and said, listen, I want to take it. Sophia's never going to take it. She's moving the goalposts on you. Her boyfriend is the one manipulating this deal, and he wants in on it, and it's never going to happen. I said, I didn't care. Uh, if Sophia came to us, it was like, I want it, and Alex doesn't. We'd be like, okay, Sophia, we'll work with you. We'll just work with whoever will work with us. So Alex was the one who's like, this is the deal we have to take. Now, it's a little he said, she said between them, but mm-hmm. I think the results after, like, Sophia launched her own, Alex launched her own, and Alex is, I mean, Alex is like the female Rogan. She, she gets is, whoever yeah. she you wants. You feel bad for Sophia because they built it together, right? Well, you feel bad for Sophia. Nothing. I mean, you, for reasons. I don't because – because you're a savage or because... Because Alex is also like, we were getting ready to be like, you guys are sexually like harassing us at work to oh, get out of the shit. contract. They were ready to do... They were... Before this happened, they just stopped podcasting. And they were basically insinuating we were mistreating them and they were going to do all this shit to get out of the contract, which I believe was orchestrated by Suitman. So that's why I was like... CD. Pretty pretty ready to roll on this guy. They they must have been tough to deal with business wise. They just stopped showing up. Because I know Sophia's pretty wild, right? Yeah. They, they just stopped showing up. Right. Like, she, like they, she parties, right? She like, parties. <laughs> they literally she wrestled one of our guys at our first Christmas party trying to get her in like a cab. Do like, you, she wouldn't do get you in feel it. What, like trying to get a bag? In a cab. Just like we were she was so shit faced, we were just trying to put her in a cab. And a guy like your <laughs> your height was like wrestling with like you gotta get in the cab. 